Hi, I'm Tom. And I'm Jackie. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Self Sufficient Mercantile. Mercantile. Nothing fancy. Just keeping it simple. Hi, everyone. So, today I'm going to talk about why we call ourselves the Self Sufficient Mercantile. Mercantile sells stuff, right? Some of you might be wondering what do they sell? Do they have a brick and mortar shop? Well, yes, we do. We actually have an outdoor power equipment shop located in North San Diego County. If you're interested in visiting us, we will put a link to our website down below. So some of the things that we carry here in our shop are obviously outdoor power equipment, but we also have lots of gardening things. We also have solar panels, solar generators, just some unique things, unique tools to kind of help you be more self-sufficient. One of the things we'll start with showing you guys are these little uh, mini greenhouse kits. So these come with a seed starting tray. They also come with a heat mat. All ready to go. All you need is soil and seeds, which we also stock. So we have a seedling mix, uh, sun grow. We've also got a potting soil by them too. They're both all uh, organic and OMRI listed. We've got seeds to get you going. Baker Creek heirloom seeds. Most of these are open pollinated. They're all non-GMO. So what that means is that, let's say next year you want to save some of your own seeds. You can certainly do that with these varieties. Uh, we also carry Renee's garden seeds. These are cornucopia, all uh, again, non-GMO, organic varieties. Just really nice seeds. We also carry a few flowers, lots of sunflowers and things for the birds in your garden. So over here we have some kind of unique hand tools and I'll just go through some of the neat things we have. So this is a harvesting knife. Uh, it's mostly used for lettuce. So that's kind of a unique tool. This here is a broccoli harvesting knife. So it's kind of unique, probably not something you're going to find at big box stores. We also have things like this. This is a scythe, uh, kind of an interesting little tool. We also carry, uh, on a previous video I went over taking cuttings. We carry this root boost. That's something you're going to need if you want to take cuttings from plants you already have. And then we have an entire line of fertilizers. These are all organic, OMRI listed, uh, from Down to Earth. Down to Earth is a company that's out of Oregon. They're great fertilizers. I've used them for years. The neat thing about these guys is they have boxes that are compostable. So once you're done with the fertilizer, you can throw this box in your compost bin. We throw these in our worm bin, and the worms love it. Um, some of the ones that I use are vegetable garden. This is just an all-purpose, a triple four. Uh, if you want to have something a little bit higher in nitrogen, this is good for things like corn or leafy greens. You want that higher first number, that's nitrogen. Over here in the all-purpose and also in the rose and flower, you have high middle numbers, which are your phosphorus levels, and those are going to produce more blooms for you. So I actually use the rose and flower mix on my peppers, eggplants, and tomatoes. Even though it says rose and flower, Think flower, flower is fruit. Uh, another neat thing that we carry are these uh, spreaders. So this is a great tool if you want to, you can fill it with fertilizer and then it's got little holes in the top that are adjustable. So you can kind of regulate how much fertilizer you're gonna sprinkle around. So I'll be having a video about this. I'll be using this in my garden later on in the year. Other things we carry um, we don't get super cold down here, but we do have chilly nights and mornings. So if you want to extend your season, we carry these greenhouses. Uh, they're not heated in any way, but they have got a plastic covering and then racks in here. So you can start your seeds indoor, indoors, and then when you're ready to put them out, give them some direct light. You can put them on these and then um, zip it up and it's ready to go. This is another uh, option. It's a cold frame that you can put over plants that are on the ground or even in planted in your garden. And kind of a neat and unique thing we carry are books. Uh, you can learn a lot of things on YouTube, obviously, but we are really into books as well. Because books you can always go back to. 
um, you know, time and time again, there are things that you can keep for years and years. So we love books around here. I'm just going to point out a couple that we carry. This is something that, you know, if you're into being self-sufficient, you want to learn how to save your own seeds. This is a really good resource. Um, we have books on permaculture. Also, if you, let's say you don't have a big area, you have a small yard. This is small space gardens. Um, and also one I think is really neat is an edible front yard. Let's say you live in a neighborhood and you don't have acres to garden in. Just turn your front yard into a vegetable garden or a food forest. Um, kind of a topic right now, a hot topic, are chickens. So we have a few books on raising chickens. So these are all things that are going to help you become more self-sufficient. Um, around the corner, I'll show you a few more books that we have. Again, more on gardening. Um, you know, things like micro-living. Just kind of neat, unique books. And we try to keep our prices very competitive. So these are going to be probably very close to what you would buy them online for. And you can just stop in and pick it up. You don't have to wait for it to be delivered. And then over here, we've got uh, some gopher control. That's another big problem that we face here in Southern California, our pocket gophers. So the gopher hawks, we also have these, um, they're kind of like little mesh wire planters, pretty much. Uh, you just bury them, pot your plant inside, and the gophers can't get in. So that's another kind of unique product that we carry. We've got a, a few more potting soils, all organic again. And then we've got um, this book here explains biochar. This is a really kind of a neat book. If you're not familiar with biochar, there's a bunch online you can do some research, but we do carry it and stock it. It's basically you're, what you're doing is you're creating little apartment buildings or homes for the good bacteria in your soil to live. And what that's going to do, it's going to build your soil and then it's going to help your plants uptake nutrients easier. So it's just kind of a long-term investment in your soil, which is what we're all about. Another thing that we are into is fermenting. And we will probably have some videos on this a little bit later in the summer once our harvests start coming in. Uh, this is a great way to preserve your food, but it's also really healthy for your gut. Uh, so we have a couple different books on that. And these mason top products, all you need to use them is a mason, mason jar. So you don't need anything fancy. You guys know what our motto is around here, nothing fancy, just keeping it simple. So if you have mason jars, these are a great way to get to fermenting and you don't have to do big batches, you can do just small batches at, at a time. Uh, another thing I didn't mention is we have a bunch of sprays, organic sprays for insects, uh, for fungus, and then we've got some organic control that Sluggo Plus is really good for snails, slugs, earwigs, uh, pill bugs. If you have any of that, which we do in our garden, earwigs are a big problem. That's a great way, it's an organic alternative uh, than using, you know, some of that scary other snail bait. Um, we carry a full line of kind of irrigation stuff, hose repair kits, soaker hoses. These are great uh, for us here in this area because we are always facing drought. And so a soaker hose is a nice way to get the water right to the root system. We have plant ties here for, uh, you know, tying up your tall plants, tomatoes and things like that. We also sell tomato cages. We don't have them out yet because it's a bit early in the season. And then we have uh, some unique hand tools here. Uh, we also sell, these are dibbers. So these guys are good for like the seed trays we talked about earlier. Um, I actually will use these to poke little holes in the seed tray. So this is kind of a neat tool. You can use it out in the garden when you're transplanting your uh, small plants or for bulbs. And then this guy, this is a nice hoe, kind of a like a Japanese style hoe. And we just got these in. We got a bunch of unique tools in. So anyway, that's kind of a short tour of what we sell here. 
Again, if you're in the area, we will put a link to our website down below. You'll be able to find us. We'd love to see you. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you like videos like this, consider subscribing. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.